The big news ahead of stage four is that Chris Froome is out of the Criterium de Dauphiné. The four-time Tour de France winner crashed heavily during a record this morning, reportedly suffering a fractured femur. Sadly, that means that he'll miss this year's tour and the chance to go for a record equaling fifth Mayo Jaune. Well, this fourth outing was always going to be a big day for the GC contenders. A 26-kilometre individual time trial around Rouen with a similar profile to stage 13 of this year's tour. De Koenig quick step impressing early on with Julien Alaphilippe taking over the lead from his teammate Remy Cavagna. Solid stuff the day after his 27th birthday. In the absence of Froome, one of the stage favourites, his GC rivals will have fancied their chances. Former time trial world champion Tom Dumoulin going 12 seconds quicker than Alaphilippe to move into the hot seat. But he was soon blown out of the water by Wout van Aert. The Belgians already impressed this week with two top three finishes and went fully 47 seconds faster than the Dutchman to secure his first win at World Tour level. It was then a question of who'd take the yellow-blue jersey, a solid effort from Adam Yates to move into the virtual lead. Well, Dylan Toynes determined not to give up his jersey without a fight. As TJ van Garderen moved into the top three overall, the American second on the stage. As for Toons, he fell just short. Look at this. Where's the clock for Dylan Toons? He's just outside. He's literally going to lose the jersey by four seconds. Well, what an effort from Van Aert. He'll definitely be a man to watch at the Tour next month. The three-time cyclocross world champion tightening his grip on the green jersey after taking the biggest victory of his career to date. Uh, it's a big one. Huh? It's the first World Tour stage, uh, stage race win. and. Uh, oh. Yeah, <laughs> can't believe it. At 24 years of age, Van Aert is showing the potential to become one of the biggest stars in road cycling after years of dominating in cyclocross. He's clearly enjoying himself here at the Dauphiné. Third on stage one, second on stage three, and now first on stage four. The Belgian will test himself in the mountains before tackling his first Grand Tour with Jumbo Visma. Yates is the new overall leader, but there are only seven seconds separating the top four riders. Van Aert moves into the top ten, while GC heavyweights like Steven Kreuzweg, Thibaut Pino and Naira Quintana aren't far off at the halfway stage of the race. <laughs>